Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, hopefully we're gonna be buttoning up the Forester and driving it. I wanna drive it to training today. So we've got two hours, let's get stuck into it. guys if you watched that intro you would have seen that I've got merchandise now so if you want to help out the channel help out this build um, please head to the link in the description and pick up either a classic tee or a classic hoodie It'd be really much appreciated let's get back to it all right boys so need to tighten up the drain plug Oh, we haven't got any more leaks. So I might do a little bit of a tighten on all the the bolts. Just a little nip up. And then um I'll start putting some fluid in. And I'm going to start it up on the jack stands because it's off the ground. Just go through the gears. So I can actually check the level. The car is reasonably level in the garage, kind of, I think, no it's not, anyways, I can drop the back down and then it will be level. So that's already set, so I've just pushed down in the gasket a bit more, so hopefully it won't leak. And um, just noticed that the steering boot is split as well. So it's going to be coming up in an episode shortly. Also, I've notched out here. But now that I've notched it out, it's actually touching on the tunnel somewhere here. So what I might need to do is loosen up the V-band up the top. I should be able to twist it just a little bit so it's not touching. Hi right, guys, tip for today, don't rush anything because it ends up taking you longer. It should have taken me a day, this is now taking me like three or four days. It's because I wanted to get it done. So, take your time boys, do it properly the first time. Guess what? Freaking Lincoln again. Two spots. Better than last time, but... <clears throat> too frustrating. in between the bolt holes so the low points <sighs> I've got no sealant left either damn it well, some good news I uh, managed to get some more sealant out of the tube that I had there was some still in the top of it so we pierced it and got it out just sealed around the back on the outside everywhere else was good I put about four liters in there, so it would have filled up the pan anyway. So just around that corner, looks a bit crap, but it's done. I'm gonna try to rotate the exhaust now, just so it's not hitting on the hitting there. Hi right guys, while I'm waiting for the sealant to dry on Auto Trans sump, I'm gonna play around with the air box that I made a while ago. It's gonna chop out a little bit for this pipe to come through. All 
Right, I got the airbox in. A bit surprised. Looks, um, yeah, it doesn't work. <clears throat> doesn't work at all. That doesn't line up. And that doesn't line up. To put this valve somewhere. Solenoid. Damn it. Well, that was fun. I do need to make a box or something so I can get some vacuum on the, the breathers. It's the main thing. So, that's a block breather right there. And over into the can, we have uh, head breathers. <coughs> do something about that maybe have a couple of AN fittings out this way have them going over that way that one there all right back from training hopefully it's dry Go give it a little touch and then um fill it up for like the fourth time Woo! It's not leaking! Woo! Finally! Alright, gonna keep filling. Test it and start it. Put it into gear and test it again. Alright, so I just had a look at the level. It's above normal, so I'm gonna start it up. Let some of the fluid go through the system. So I need to connect the battery and crank it over. I don't know. Got it running. It's the uh, airflow meter. I'm gonna have to check the wiring. So I just went through the gears. Um, I want to do that first before I get to the airflow meter. So I'll go check the levels. Sorry about the wind. Hi right, guys, did you notice what I did wrong? Comment down below if you noticed or what you think I did wrong. I'm not going to tell you because it's stupid, but it's running, levels are good, uh, it's no leaking. So, I'm going to get this down off the jack stands and call it a day. And uh, sorry about the wind in this uh, episode, guys been a bit crazy here. Remember, if you want to support the channel, please head to the link down below and check out my t-shirts and hoodies. In Australia, it's coming up to winter, 
starting to get cold as you can see so it'd be much appreciated if you could pick one of them up it will help this build it will help get it towards the dyno that's what it's going to thanks for watching guys i'll catch you next episode if you like this episode give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please subscribe bye Thank you.